Hey everyone, this is John Sears, your friendly enterprise analyst. And today I am bringing you the first in a new series on Microsoft, my Microsoft 365 baseline series. The goal of this training series is to establish a strong baseline in what Microsoft 365 can bring to you by covering, I think, the most essential and vital elements of what Microsoft 365 can bring to an office environment. So we're going to talk through what that means and what that looks like. So when we talk about Microsoft 365, we're talking about the cloud and application-based services. You might recognize it as various applications on your computer or on the web. And it comprises a lot of tools on which you may have heard of that we're going to talk about and some which which you may have not. So at least in our organization, every week, Microsoft is used by 81% of staff on a weekly basis and 91% every month. And what does that look like? Well, you can see use statistics down here for our organization. And right at the top here, you can see overall usage peaking right around 90%. You can also see various elements of exchange. So that would be your email and applications like Outlook. Uh, OneDrive, so people accessing documents, and to a lesser extent, SharePoint and Microsoft Teams, which we don't use extensively here, but is a pretty key element and something we're going to talk about in our Microsoft series. You can also see on this usage chart things like holidays, where our numbers dip, and when we have conferences or other events that might string across weekends, you can see those usage statistics. But generally speaking, the pattern in terms of what gets used most is pretty consistent. So statistics-wise for our organization, we have 120 active users in the system, uh, over 430 files currently being stored, over 90,000 emails received, and over 20,000 spent per month. Your organization may look different than that, but that's the kind of work we're doing here. Uh, one note is definitely the run to the litter. You can see a breakdown between Excel, OneNote, Outlook, PowerPoint, Teams, and Word. Uh, Word and uh, Outlook being extensively used. OneNote hitting at around 30% uh, of the overall population. But they're all being used to various extents. And for whatever reason, the amount of time we spend in the Microsoft environment is not equivalent to how much time we've actually spent training in these tools, learning how to leverage them better, learning how to use them more effectively. And that's really what we're going to get at in this series. So the full suite of what is offered within Microsoft 365, yours might look a little bit different depending on your organization, but generally speaking, you'll have this full suite here. The ones with the stars are things that we're going to be talking about. In particular, we're going to be spending time on, on Outlook, Teams, Excel. We're going to be delving deeply into Outlook in terms of calendar, people, and email functionality. We're also going to touch a little bit on Forms, OneNote, Power Automate, and Planner. We're not going to go as in-depth with those tools, but this might be your first time experiencing them. So we're going to provide an introduction and really talk into what are the key things that these things can do and what are the most vital features that you're missing out on through this series. So if this is your first time hearing about Microsoft 365, when I say Microsoft 365, you might have heard it talked about in terms of Office 365. It's the full suite of things available on office.com. So you can get there through office.com. If you are in SharePoint or another web-based Microsoft 365 tool, you might be familiar with these nine dots. If you see these nine dots anywhere, that is your access to the various applications within the Office environment. So when you see that, that's your key to say, okay, let's find out what my organization has access to and begin tapping into that higher functionality when we talk about some of those more advanced tools. So why should you care at all about Microsoft 365? 
Through this series, you're going to learn a lot of transferable skills and vocabulary. So there's a lot of consistency that Microsoft has put in across the various ribbons where tools and abilities are accessed. Settings are consistent between apps. You're going to learn a lot of abilities and features that you can carry forward, even if you're working in a different tool. So there's a lot of synergy between the Microsoft applications, in particular Power Automate, which allows the different Microsoft applications to talk to each other, which is your key to unlocking really advanced functionality and really bringing your efficiency to a whole other level. Things that you were doing on a daily or weekly basis by hand become things you don't even have to think about anymore as the system handles it for you. That's the kind of thing that we can log into when we've mastered the basics of Microsoft 365. So we're also talking about nested applications. So sometimes uh, you'll click a button in one application and it'll unlock something in another. The more we understand how they work together, the better we can leverage those. And finally, versatility. Microsoft's tools are not always best in class. Um, you might find that like Smartsheet, for example, does certain things better in um, leveraging data in a way that Excel just has a different focus. Or um, you might find that Microsoft's whiteboard isn't as robust as some of the other ones you can access online. But generally speaking, you're going to have a high level of interoperability, which means these things play together very nice, and it's going to cover your basic functionality. So if you understand Microsoft 365 and you understand what you can leverage, you can really get a lot of things done. And that's what we're here to talk about is getting things done. So what are we going to cover in this series? Well, in roughly 10 to 20 minute sessions, we are discussing today what the training series is going to offer. As we move forward in the year, uh, we're going to talk about SharePoint, Teams, Outlook, and Excel. We are going to cover Zoom, even though it's not a Microsoft 365 product. It's a tool that we've been leveraging extensively here, and it's very useful within our organization. And if it's helpful for us, I'm going to wager that it's helpful for you. And we're going to cover the rest of Office 365, particularly Power Automate. Stay tuned for that and check out the rest of those trainings available on a YouTube channel. So look out for the rest of these trainings coming out as we move forward in the year. Thanks for joining us today and have a great rest of your day.